we are in the cable car and going up and hopefully then we will arrive at the city area Good morning, we are now at Huang Long, the Yellow Dragon Stadium and from here, or better from there, um, we will take the bus to uh, Huangshan, so the Yellow Mountains and yeah, we will take the bus for around three and a half hours and then we will see you at the mountains, so join us. making a short break um, on our trip to Huangshan and as you can see the weather today is pretty nice it's perfect for going up the mountains and my hope was will also be nice there um, but I heard um, on the mountain it will be a little bit colder than here so um, yeah I'm curious if I have to change my clothes because now I'm still yeah, dressed for summer um, yeah, like I told you before, the drive will be three and a half hours and I think there are about two hours left. Um, the bus is not very comfortable, so um, the problem is um, there's not enough um, space for my legs, so it's very hard uh, for me to sit in the bus, but yeah. I can do it for another two hours and then hopefully, um, yeah, we can go up the mountain. So, yeah, enjoy the scenery, the ride, and then I will see you um, on the top of the mountain. So we are now at the south gate um, of the Huangshan, the Yellow Mountain. And um, yeah, here um, at the place where we also can buy our bus tickets back to Hangzhou. Um, in a hotel and somebody explained us um, how we have to walk that we can go to the hotel and how we have to walk also tomorrow that we can come back and um, luckily I took the big backpack and didn't take my suitcase because I already expected that I have to walk a lot on the mountain and have to carry um, all of the stuff for a long time and um, yeah it will be like that so um, like you see on the map um, everything which is blue um, or not everything which is blue I will do it like this um, so here we will take a bus, then we will take a cable car to here, but then we have to walk for um, around one and a half hours this way um, until here where um, we have our hotel. And from there, um, for example, we can also um, yeah, see the sunset um, here at this place. It's just a 15 minutes walk from the hotel. And then tomorrow morning um, we can get up very early to see um, the sunrise um, about, uh, I think, around here. Or yeah, or somewhere there. I think I think it explains us here. Um, yeah, and then we will uh, walk big, walk back all of this way. But you see, um, it will be a one and a half hour walk here, a two hour walk um, over here. Um, so I have to carry all of the stuff for several hours um, first today to go to the hotel and tomorrow to also carry it back. And then from here we can take a cable car back to here, where we can then also can take a bus back to um, the place where I am at the moment here at this hotel um, yes, and from here also the bus will leave back to Hangzhou so yeah like you see there will be a lot of walking and I hope that uh, while we are walking that uh, we can also see something of the mountain uh, I hope it will be uh, some some good good ways to walk and um, yeah he also um, planned the route so that we can go to some uh, interesting places um, while we have we'll walk to the hotel yeah so that's the plan for now we will have now um, lunch and then we will take the first bus to the station to go up the mountain and then yeah I will see you again while we are walking So, um, 
we got off the bus from Hangzhou, then we took another bus to the cable car station and now we are in the cable car and going up and hopefully then we will arrive at the city area. So the cable car is uh, something very safe and uh, it makes a lot of fun to take the cable car for all of the passengers and it's not scary at all. <laughs> So we made it to the top with the cable car and now the hiking will start and we have to walk more than uh, one hour and I think when we will stop and take some pictures it will be one and a half or two hours until we reach the hotel so um, yeah it will not be so easy and um, it's also not so warm up here and like you see um, it's also a little bit cloudy I hope that there will be no rain otherwise yeah it will be harder yeah but feels good and yeah, we are ready to go. So we are now walking um, yeah, on the top of the mountain, but um, hiking here is different than I know it from um, Germany or Austria. So because usually you are walking on rocks and grass and yeah, how the mountain uh, grows and maybe there are some paths for all of the people uh, who walked there before. Um, but here it's um, somehow different. So um, all of the ways here are prepared, so there are some stairs and everywhere there's a stone floor where you can walk so the whole path is already prepared so for the visitors and you also have a handrail uh, which yeah stops you from dropping down so um hiking here is yeah different than um i already know it from europe so here on top of the mountain there's everything so you will find a hotel you will find um, a small doctor you will find an ATM to get some uh, money and you will also find a police station up here so if you have any problems so everything what you need you can find here and in the hotel I saw there's also a small supermarket so you can buy also stuff and um, maybe you saw already the um, guys who yeah, carry all of the stuff so what you can buy here uh, is yeah, carried up here by men so I just saw a sign which said just 700 meters to the hotel but it didn't say I have to go upstairs so 700 meters upstairs not so nice finally we reached the hotel on top of the mountain or yeah, we have to walk uh, down a little bit oh, there are some nice flowers yeah. <sighs> yeah the weather is not so nice anymore so it's um, yeah it's cloudy now so I can't take a lot of nice pictures yeah but um, I will show you I will do the room tour um, from the um, Xihai Hotel um, yeah just in a several minutes and first I want to show you the view from the terrace yeah in front of the hotel maybe you will like it Bad, isn't it? I will now check in and then let's do the room tour, the highest I've ever done. Okay, we found our room. Yeah, yeah. the card is working. And here we are. So this time I will first drop my bags because they are really heavy. It seems we have some kind of air cleaning machine. Okay. Now the room tour 
starts. Okay, um, I will start at the door. So first we have a wardrobe, also with an umbrella where you can put your coats and shoes. Then here's the bathroom, you have to step up. So also well equipped, everything what you need. A nice shower, also everything looks very clean and new. Uh, some towels, so everything there what you need. That looks very nice. And here is the room. We now have two separate beds because um, it was way cheaper than uh, one big bed. So just for one night uh, we will sleep in separate beds, but no problem. So, and here on the other side we have flat screen TV, water heater, some free tea. We can sit here and sit. Ah, there are some winter coats. So, for example, when it's uh, very cold outside, you can wear them. Uh, very good. Maybe we need them in the evening or in the morning when we want to see sunrise or sunset. Very good. And I assume that this is some kind of air cleaning device, but I'm not quite sure. Or maybe it's some heating device because it's getting very warm. Okay, and here's the view. Yeah, the stone wall and there is a little bit of Huangshan. Oh, but you can't really see anything, so we'll close the window now because it's a little bit cold. Yeah. And yeah, that's the room. Very nice. We are not in the uh, main building, we are just in the older building, but I didn't expect that the room is still this nice and looks this new. Oh, there are also some free slippers under here. So I'm very happy. That's the room on top of a mountain and for a mountain room, I think. Very good. So the weather conditions changed up here. It's now very, very foggy. And we also got some warm clothes. Yeah. And it's really exhausting to walk here. We want to check if we can get to a peak and see the sunset. But I think today too foggy. But we will try it. But we have to get up a lot of stairs. The higher we get, the more foggy it gets. So I think today we will not be able to see sunset. But maybe tomorrow morning, sunrise. We are now at the top and as you see, you see nothing.